Captain Richie Lott, Northeast Florida, Coastal Georgia. This is Captain Josh over here. He's going to be throwing today for us and show you guys the two best throws we know. Now, I've been charter fishing for 30 plus years, and uh, Josh is working on 10 years himself. And we had a couple ways that we throw. It's, gonna, it's real hard to beat. You may have seen these throws, these throws elsewhere, which is that's fine too. We'll show you how easy it is to load. Feel free to rewind, pause. Um, we make it even do it slow mo for you if you need it. Uh, but they're, they're they're so rudimentary simple um, that it may be just that we've done it for so long. So make sure you guys understand it. Let us know if you don't. Check it out. Here we go. There's Captain Josh. All right, let's show them the we'll show them the one where you put it in your mouth first. Where you want to do that one first? All right. So he's caught. He's got the he's got the first uh, loop around his first hand. And the uh, yeah, and the cinch loops there. You don't got to go super tight with that. And then about a foot and a half coils, two foot, whatever you like on the coiling. Just put it in your left hand. This is for people who throw to the right mostly. In other words, a right hand thrower would mostly benefit from this. But you can put it in reverse of how he's doing it and uh, and throw lefty. We're going to be throwing left to right. Okay. So he's got it coiled up in his left hand. All right. Now he's going to back up and stretch the net out. Make sure it's just straight so the brails aren't twisted the brails are the lines that go from the horn down through the uh, lead line and now he's going to grab it a foot from the horn with his left hand same hand the coils are in now he's going to grab it he's going to walk toward it he's going to grab it waist high see what he's got okay, and he just he's going to take his left hand and just put it just grab the rest of the net in that same hand so there's two folds just wadded up in his left hand now he's going to spread it or harp it to clear the net, make sure there's no tangles in it. And he's gonna spread it about half and half. The good thing about this is, you can just set that on the ground while you wait for bait or whatever you're about to throw on. All right, so then, after we found bait, we we'll come behind him. He's gonna grab the line closest to him or right in the middle. He's gonna put the string, not the lead, just at the edge of his teeth. He's gonna drop down about a hand's, or excuse me, an arm's length. And he's gonna start standing up. He's gonna reach in there and grab that net about a foot from his other hand. Grab that with his right hand, see? So here's the backward view from where he's standing. Left hand, right hand. That's about a foot of net but in between. I'm gonna face him. So you can see what the lead looks like draped. The, the net in your right hand, what you have wadded up there, is gonna be about a foot and a half higher approximately than the lead hanging off your left hand. All right, so what he'll do now is keep those, what you wanna do on this throw, is you wanna keep, concentrate on keeping your hands about a foot apart. So just visualize that through the whole throw, like a robot almost. And then by the time you make the turn, he's gonna turn his hips and he's gonna spin it right open. You just let, you just keep your hands level and the centrifugal force of the weight will let that net open completely in a hula hoop almost every time. And now he's gonna go ahead and throw it. All right, very good throw, Josh. Thank very you. Very nice. And look at this. I'll show you that I got a lot of sun. I can't really tell what you guys can see here, but it's near perfect on concrete anyway. <laughs> All right, now the next throw we're going to show you is one. It'll load. It'll load basically the same the first part of the um, the load up, and uh, and then we'll show you how to do it without putting anything in your mouth at all. We got dogs running everywhere. Mm. There they are. Alright. Now. Okay. Same principle as last time on the loading. He's just going to stretch the net. He's got it coiled up in his left hand again. He's going to grab it a foot from the horn. Walk it up. Waist high. He's going to put his hands together there. Now he's going to spread it. Just to clear it. And he's going to set those leads half and half on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna get on behind him so I can show you guys what, what he's about to do. Alright, he's gonna grab it about an arm's length away. Alright. He's gonna cross over his left hand. Now I'm in front of him, guys. I know this is hard to tell what he's doing, but all he's doing is bringing this over and laying it in his palm with the rest of the net he's already loaded. Okay, he's gonna grab the lead line closest to him about an arm's length away. You see what he's got? 
I know it's hard to tell. We can show that again. If anybody needs to see it again, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll repost another one or put it in slow mo for you. So he's ready to throw it. This is a zero effort throw. Nothing's in his mouth. All he's going to do is spin a little bit further with his hips this time. Just you want a little bit more spin on this one, because right now as it stands, already basically half the net's open. He just got to get the wad over here, out into the open and spun open, and that's it. We'll back up where I can see the throw. All right. He's just going to spin. Wow. Look at that. That's a perfect throw. Good awesome. throw. Yeah, real good throw. Can't hardly see it, but yeah, it's perfect. Both of those are considered zero effort throws.